Our catechism question for this week is question 14, quite a short uh, one. What is sin? This is such an important uh, question, um, considering so many people are mistaken in this um, age of what sin actually is, the nature and character of sin. Um, So many people think that sin is just a a lack uh, in somebody's uh, nature or uh, maybe a deficiency, uh, which is partially true, but it's only part of the problem. Uh, The answer here is quite clear. Again, it's brief, uh, but it is very clear. There's two definitions of sin here. Um, in this answer sin is any want or lack of conformity unto or transgression of the law of God now there's only one proof text so I've added two to really um, uh, give a fuller um, scripture for uh, fuller scripture proofs for this uh, question because really the proof text only applies to the second uh, part of the answer. Uh, so first of all, sin is any want of conformity onto the law of God. Uh, turn to Galatians chapter 3 and verse 10. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 10. And this is the lack of conformity uh, to the law of God. And especially uh, the second part of the verse. Galatians 3 verse 10. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Uh, Some would refer to this as the sin of omission, uh, not doing what we are meant to do. One other proof text, and this is James uh, chapter 4 and verse 17. James chapter 4, verse 17. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. So first of all, sin is defined by any lack of conformity uh, to the law of God. So therefore, if I am not doing what God has commanded, I am sinning. But the second part uh, says, uh, if I break God's command, that is sin. Um, so sin secondly is the transgression of or the breaking of the law of God First John chapter 3 and verse 4 whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law for sin is the transgression of the law now just as we finish um, I want to just address the issue that uh, Johannes Voss in his commentary on the larger catechism addresses which is the difference between um, crime uh, and sin and he says in his second comment on this question what is the difference between sin and crime strictly speaking sin is a violation of the law of God crime is a violation of the law of the state however many old writers use the words crime in the sense of sin and sinful. But he says another thing here. Uh, May an act be a sin, but not a crime. Yes, for example, to hate one's brother is a sin against God, but not a violation of the law of the state, for the latter has no jurisdiction over men's thoughts. And this is a very practical one, because a lot of people think in this world, because they get away with something uh, that there is no consequence and yet in the judgment of God it will be those hidden things that will be revealed on that day. One more point that Voss makes may an act be a crime but not a sin and he goes on to talk about uh, one example uh, when the covenanters were put in prison for the crime of having uh, meetings whereby they were meeting not according to the uh, law of the land. Uh, That was a crime, but it certainly wasn't a sin because they were doing what God's law 
said they could do. Another thing that really is more up to date, um, it no doubt will become a crime in, in this country, uh, if it's not already, uh, to preach against the sin of sodomy. Uh, but not only is it not a sin to do so, uh, but it is commanded in the word of God uh, to do so. Uh, and there's many other examples we could give. So, what is sin? Sin is any want of conformity unto or transgression of the law of God. Okay, well, let's begin our 